Hi guys, this is I'm Suck, and today we are looking at the theories of evolution. So in a minute I will talk about Charles Darwin's theory of evolution and natural selection. However, first we need to know a little bit about Lamarck's uh, theory of evolution. Now, Jean-Baptiste Lamarck was a French biologist, and he thought that all organisms were linked by the fountain of life. So he suggested that animals ad adapted and evolved to their environment, and that organisms began as primitive worms, and the change from worms to other organisms is the inheritance of acquired characteristics. Now, one of the main examples he used was the neck of a giraffe. Now, he thought because the giraffe constantly used it, and for example, it kept on stretching its neck to reach leaves high up in a tree, then this um, gradually developed until it comes up in a very long, um, long neck. However, his, his theory had many issues. So people disliked the fact that humans uh, had descended from worms and these characteristics were passed on because people uh, said about the fact that how can muscles be passed on when it's quite obvious that um, that is not a characteristic which would be passed on even though you use it. However, we also know that his theory was incorrect because we now understand about genes, which they did not understand back in those days. So our modern ideas of evolution actually come from Charles Darwin. Now Charles Darwin studied, went to South America and he studied geology. However, while he was there, he, studied, he realized that there were two types of the same bird living in the same area. Now he noticed the similarities between different species on the same island. And this gave rise to his idea of natural selection, where only the fittest will survive before these genes are passed on to the offspring. So Charles Darwin was the first person to describe natural selection, which is also known as survival of the fittest. And animals and plants often produce more offspring than needed, especially plants. So this meant that those which were better adapted and had the best genes were more likely to stay alive. So the animals who are not as strong or as clever are more likely to get eaten and their genes will not get passed on. So then this is where it comes into more complex stuff about mutations. And the new forms of genes uh, result from changes in existing ones. Now, mutations um, are actually formed by mistakes um, in copying the DNA. However, they can in introduce more variety, which can be very important. Now, occasionally mutations can be a bad thing. However, sometimes it means that an organism is better suited to the environment. Now, as this happens, the gene will gradually become more common in the population, and this will end up causing the animal to evolve. Now, to build up his um, evidence, he went to the island for, for a couple of years, and he carried out many tests of home with pigeons, um, discussing his findings with his friends. Now, in 1859, he then published his famous book, which was called On the Origin of Species. And many people were excited, however, some people disagreed. Now, in those days, the main idea was that God made all of the animals and plants on Earth, um, and the fact that this was challenging that, many people were very upset by that. As well, um, many scientists also believed that there wasn't enough evidence, um, specifically because of the fact that genes and genetics were not discovered until 50 years later. So thank you for watching this video, and can you please subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Goodbye.